Hey guys, welcome back. We are doing another Q&A slash assumptions about me. I did one of these a little bit ago, like a year and a half, maybe two years, and I decided that we should do it again. So you guys put in your assumptions about me and we're just gonna go over and read them and have a fun time. So the first one is you are an introvert. This one's really funny because it was in there so many times and I can, I can see how you guys would think that because when I was younger and before I came to LA, I definitely was like really shy and introverted and I can completely see that. But now that I've kind of like grown up and like figured myself out a little bit more, I am definitely more outgoing and extroverted, especially in the past like year, I've like really grown up in that aspect. So yeah, definitely I would say I'm more extroverted than introverted, but I do have my people that I like and sometimes people scare me. But for that one, I don't even know what my answer was. Next is you have a crush. This one was in there so many times. I felt like I needed to address it. No, I don't have a crush on anybody. No, I don't like anybody right now. I'm very happy the where I am and no, I don't have a crush. So moving on. You are shy until you get to know somebody. Okay, this one's like kind of true. I wouldn't say shy is the right word, but I definitely do have a wall up and like I just don't trust you like right as I meet you, which is kind of bad. I don't know why I do that, but I definitely am very like blocked off and just like have this like shield up. It's probably really hard to like get to know me and it might come off as me being shy, but a lot of my friends have told me that I'm pretty standoffish until I really get to know you. So maybe that's shyness, but I don't think it is. Um, the next one is you like to have a private life. It's a really hard balance with social media because I'm very, very grateful for all the opportunities and you guys for supporting me, but also not putting unnecessary things on social media and keeping some things private is definitely a goal of mine. So yeah, it's definitely really, it's a really weird balance for social media to keep your life private in some parts and not private in other parts. I didn't really answer that, but <laughs> you actually enjoy quarantine. You gotta be kidding me. I do not enjoy this at all. I really wanna go see my friends and just go places. And I know I shouldn't be like whining about this because people are dying and I am taking it really seriously. And my family's taking it really seriously and we're taking all precautions. But like I haven't seen anybody in three months and I'm going crazy. So no, I'm not enjoying it. There are some days where I'm like, oh, this is fun because I'm like hanging with my family or like on FaceTime with one of my friends. But I really just wanna go and literally, like, I, I just wanna go anywhere. You eat healthy. I feel like everybody tries to eat healthy, but at this point, I'm just not gonna be too hard on myself for it because I'm, I'm a kid and I'm growing up and I just don't really care right now. I think I'd say I would try to eat healthy, but if I don't, I don't. The next one is you still have a blankie. So this might sound really weird to people who don't know me, but um, on Bertaley, the ch my family channel, Pretty much, I used to always carry around this blanket. And yes, the answer to the question is yes, I still have it. I'm definitely not like as attached to it as I was. I used to carry it around everywhere. But I still have it, number one, because it smells like my, like home. So whenever I'm like just having a terrible day, it's like a like coping mechanism with everything that's happening in my life. I just like, I don't know how to explain it. Yes, but now. <laughs> Also, I don't think anybody should be like ashamed to have like a stuffed animal or like blanket that they sleep with that night. I think that that's a completely normal thing. There's a lot you don't share on social media is the next one. I think I kind of covered this. Yes, there is a lot of stuff going on in my life that I don't put on social media. Just number one, I don't think it's necessary. Number two, it's just a lot to explain. There's so many people. So yeah, correct. Uh, you won't be public with the next relationship. This is a pretty good assumption because Right now, I would say that my next relationship, when that time does come, I probably want it to be very private. I just want to keep it to myself, be personal. And the last one is you are king. Correct. I thought I'd put that in there because I agree. I think everybody should bow down. All right, that's it for this assumptions about me video. I will see you guys next time and I hope you guys stay safe. Peace out and bye.